Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to add color to the gradient slider. Let's make a new document. Go to File, New and set the profile to Web. Click OK. Let's change the stroke color to None and the fill color to Red. Select the Ellipse tool. Click on the artboard and holding the Shift and the Alt key on your keyboard, draw a circle. Now we are going to add a gradient to our circle. First, we need to open the gradient panel. Go to Window and select Gradient. Before adding gradient to your object, make sure the object is selected. Then you have few options. You can add one of the preset gradients by selecting them Let's undo it. Or you can add color to the gradient slider and create custom gradient. There are a few ways you can do it. Click on the selected color, hold and drag it to the gradient slider. Then let it go. Another way is to select the little gradient slider box. You will know for sure if you've selected it or not when you see the white arrow on top of the box changing black. Then press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard and select the color from the swatches panel. Another way to add color to the gradient slider is to select the gradient tool. This will automatically add the gradient slider to your object. If you move your mouse just below the slider, you will see the white arrow with the plus sign. Click wherever you want to add a color box. We will add one just in the middle. Now double click on this color box and choose the new color. You can also add more colors to the gradient slider using the gradient panel. Just click below the gradient slider and holding the ALT key on your keyboard, select a different color. You can move this gradient slider wherever you wish. or you can copy it. Just click on it and holding the ALT key on your keyboard, move it to make a copy. If you don't like any of these colors, just click on the slider and drag it down to delete it. Let's talk about the direction of the gradient. There are a few ways you can change it. One is by selecting the reverse gradient button from the gradient panel. Another way is to select the exact angle from the angle window. Or you can do it by adding the gradient exactly where you want it to be. Simply click, hold and drag. And again, click, hold and drag. Now let's change the linear gradient to radial gradient. You can leave it as it is or you can click on the little black square, hold and move your mouse to expand it. You can start the gradient from the top and drag it towards the center to get a different effect. Let's add a gradient from the center to the bottom anchor point. Click on the little black box, hold and drag to extend it. Or 
move it the other direction to shrink it. You can do the same by selecting the little white and black circle on top. Hold and drag. Now let's get a little different effect. Hover your mouse over the little white circle on top of the gradient slider and you should see the black arrow and the X mark next to it. Click on it, hold and drag it to the top. Deselect the circle and let's draw an ellipse. Click on the artboard and holding the ALT key on your keyboard, draw an ellipse. Press G for the gradient tool. And let's add a gradient starting from the center of the ellipse to the bottom anchor point. When you move the mouse, you can see a dash line and a small black circle on the right. Hover over it and it will show a little ellipse symbol. Click on it, hold and drag to the edge of the ellipse. This way the gradient will follow the contour of the ellipse. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.